Cardone College is not about just delivering an education. We are committed to graduating a young person who becomes a citizen and a leader in society to make this world a better world. Education is fundamental, it's a given, and that's where we are pushing, obviously, that academic excellence. But more importantly, what we're on about is a whole rounded development of a young person, a person that has high ethical standards, a person that could see that a country like Australia, a community down the south here, has needs and is prepared to do something about it. They are our real change makers into the future and leaders. Dr Riki, I have the pleasure to present to you those students from the Year 12 cohort of 2017 who achieved an Australian Tertiary Admissions Rank in ATAR in the top 15% of Australia. Nathaniel Gatasar. Year 12 was a really strong year when it came to teachers. Mr Burrows, Mr Dvorak, Mr Wilcock, Mr Harris, Mr McCarthy, <laughs> I'm going to have to list them off, Mr Rhodes. They're all great and really just helped me be my best this year in particular. The Governor of South Australia SACE Award this year acknowledged 27 students in the state who excelled in community, citizenship, leadership and learning. It's just such a big deal to be able to receive something that goes beyond your schooling. I think that's really what it is. A lot of things are just related to ATAR and stuff like that, but this is about you as a person. I think that's a lot more important. Sebastian, you are the only recipient from the south of Adelaide. In all that he has done, his commitment to this community has been outstanding. Your commitment to both your school and the wider community has been acknowledged by this award. I still want to keep volunteering, I still want to keep helping out. Like This award is just, it's, a, it's great to be recognised, but in the end I, I did it because I want to do it and I want to help these people, so I'll be continuing writing for the disabled, I'm going to continue trying to be involved in my community as much as possible. It's not just ending now. It is my honour and pleasure to introduce to you and acknowledge our 2017 Cardon College Ducks, Miss Anya Banjovic. Anya, come and join me on the stage, please. I remember Anya really well because I taught Anya in year eight. Never, never in her time would she have realised what she achieved this year. Never. And even today, she said that she'd never imagined that she would be ducks. But in the background, she just kept going at it. And I think that was the great thing. Was it a surprise that Anya was the ducks? You know, in, in some ways, yes, and in some ways, no. But no, it's not a surprise because she's an all-rounder. And that's what got her to the, to the top. I think what I've achieved, I can put that into what I'm passionate about, which is science and health and helping people. You achieved an ATAR of 99.35, placing you in the top 1% in the country. Each and every one of you sitting before me can be successful. Success ultimately comes down to using the opportunities you're given to achieve your personal goals. Making goals, committing yourself to them and just putting yourself out there, learning, understanding that a failure isn't the end of the world or anything like that. You can grow and learn from a bad grade, a bad day, like there's always an opportunity to do better, to be better. If you know what you want and are willing to work hard to get it, nothing can stand in your way. Good luck and thank you so much for your time. Yeah.